If you use Microsoft Office pretty much every day, well, things are about to get really interesting. There's a huge shakeup happening behind the scenes, one that signals a massive shift in Microsoft's whole AI strategy, and it's bringing a powerful new rival right into the tools you know and use. Okay, let's get into it. So here's what we're gonna cover. First, the big shakeup itself. Then, we'll look at Microsoft's strategic pivot, why they're doing this. After that, we'll see the ripple effect across the industry, what all this means for you, and finally, what the next move in this high-stakes AI game might be. All right, let's kick things off with the big announcement. A really surprising new player has just stepped into the Microsoft ecosystem, and it's got a lot of people talking. And of course, the first question on everyone's mind is, wait a minute, is Microsoft breaking up with OpenAI? After everything, after all the billions of dollars invested, are they really calling it quits? Well, the short answer is not exactly, but their relationship status has definitely, definitely changed to it's complicated. And the reason why is pretty fascinating. So here's the deal. Microsoft is now officially integrating tech from one of OpenAI's biggest rivals, a company called Anthropic. Their really powerful AI model, Claude, is being woven right into the fabric of Office 365. We're talking Word, Excel, PowerPoint, the whole suite. Which brings us to the real heart of the story. Why? Why would Microsoft make such a bold move? Let's dig into the motivations behind this huge strategic pivot. To get just how big of a deal this is, you only need to see this number. Microsoft owns almost 49% of OpenAI's for-profit side. I mean, they are deeply connected. So for them to bring in a direct competitor, yeah, that's not a casual decision. It is a major calculated shift in strategy. You know, this move really reframes the two companies. On one side, you've got OpenAI, the established partner, who's also been acting more and more independent, right? They're building their own job platforms, even their own AI chips. And on the other side, you have Anthropic, the new specialist, brought in for one key reason. Its tech is just better at certain productivity tasks. And look, this isn't about one AI being smarter across the board. It's really about having the right tool for the job. Apparently, Microsoft's own internal tests show that Claude was outperforming its rival in specific Office-related tasks. A huge advantage is what's called its context window. It can handle massive documents, which makes it an absolute beast for summarizing info in Word or generating slides in PowerPoint. So when you connect all those dots, Microsoft's logic becomes crystal clear. First, they're not putting all their eggs in one basket anymore. Second, they're cherry-picking the absolute best tech for the job. And finally, they're diversifying their whole AI lineup to make sure they stay on top in what is an incredibly competitive market. Now, this whole decision isn't just happening in a bubble. It's actually part of a much, much bigger story about how the entire AI industry is evolving. So let's take a look at those ripple effects. What we're really seeing is the rise of what's called the multi-vendor strategy. Basically, the days of a company betting its entire future on just one AI provider, those are over. The big tech players now want a whole portfolio of AI tools so they can mix and match the best models from different companies to build the best products. You know, a great way to think about this is with Apple and Samsung. For years, Apple has relied on its biggest rival, Samsung, to make the screens for the iPhone. It's a classic example of working with a competitor because they just happen to make the best part for the job you need done. But this strategy isn't always smooth sailing. Anthropic is already under a regulatory microscope. You've got Google and Amazon, who have both poured billions into the company. That triggered an FTC investigation into whether these deals are actually hurting competition. And now with Microsoft jumping in, well, that just adds another layer of complexity to the whole situation. For us, though, the actual users, all this fierce competition has a really clear upside. It creates what one analyst called a cornucopia of AI tools. And what that means is more companies fighting for our business, which leads to faster innovation, more choices, and hopefully better and cheaper tools for all of us. Okay, so that's the corporate strategy and the industry trends. But let's bring it down to what really matters. What does this actually mean for you, sitting at your desk using Microsoft Office? Well, the most direct impact you could see is a pretty serious upgrade in Office 365. Just imagine, Claude's ability to synthesize huge documents could completely transform Word. Its reasoning skills could automate complex tasks in Excel, and maybe, just maybe, its creative abilities could finally mean an end to those boring generic PowerPoint presentations. But of course, whenever a new AI gets plugged into our digital lives, the elephant in the room is always data. As these tools get smarter, what happens to our privacy? Microsoft is trying to be really clear on this point. 
you are in control. You will get the explicit choice to opt in or out of having your data used to train the models. New users will see this when they sign up, and existing users are going to get a prompt asking them to choose. And all of this is being done under strict compliance with big regulations like GDPR and HIPAA. Okay, let's zoom out one last time and look at the big picture here. This move by Microsoft really does signal a brand new era of competition, and it tells us a lot about where the future of AI is headed. The key takeaway is really this. We're moving past the idea that there will be one single dominant AI model that does everything. The future is looking much more like a vibrant competitive ecosystem where lots of specialized models compete and sometimes even collaborate. And this new landscape is really defined by a few key things. This intense competition, it's forcing everyone to innovate faster. For us, that means more choices and better tools. It's also lowering costs, which is amazing for startups trying to break in. And the race isn't just about building the biggest model anymore. It's about who can create the smartest, most efficient algorithms. This chart really captures the entire shift perfectly. We've gone from a market that looked like it was heading for one company dominating everything to a much healthier, more dynamic world of multi-vendor competition. Which leaves us with a final, fascinating question to think about. As Microsoft is showing us, maybe the goal in this new AI era isn't about finding the one single winner. Maybe, just maybe, it's about building the best possible team. 